last few weeks we have been investigating the relationships between different species. So can anyone tell me why red knots care if horseshoe crabs have blue blood? Okay, we'll try to use this video to find out. Red knots are medium-sized shorebirds and weigh 100 to 200 grams, although they can lose up to half their body weight during migration. Red knots have one of the longest migration patterns of all birds and migrate annually from the southern tip of South America through Delaware Bay to the Arctic breeding grounds, a trip that is about 30,000 kilometers. The reason for the stopover in Delaware Bay is for the red knots to replenish their fat stores by feasting on the horseshoe crab eggs. This is the main food source for the birds because the high fat content allows the birds to potentially double their body weight in two to three weeks. This weight gain is essential in order for the birds to survive the trip to the Arctic breeding grounds. These crab eggs are one of the only food sources for the red knots at Delaware Bay and for this reason the population of horseshoe crabs has the ability to impact the survival of the red knots. The horseshoe crab is a marine invertebrate and in fact is actually more closely related to spiders and scorpions than to real crabs. They grow by molting and can reach weights of 2 pounds for males and 5 pounds for females. Delaware Bay is an important location for these animals as it is where the largest populations of horseshoe crabs go to spawn. A female horseshoe crab can lay eggs that are only 1 16th of an inch in diameter and have an extremely high fat content. Horseshoe crabs also have very unique blood. Blue blood of horseshoe crabs contains copper as an oxygen carrier instead of iron, which makes the blood blue instead of red. A clotting agent is also found in the blood, which forms a thick gel and causes a clot when in contact with bacteria, fungi, or other toxins. During the extraction process, a small syringe needle is inserted about 1-2 to two centimeters into the heart. To catch the initial surge of blood, a collection tube is positioned below the needle and blood is drained into a beaker. We extract between 200 to 400 milliliters of blood from a single crab and a quart can cost up to $15,000. The horseshoe crab's blood is used as a sterilizing agent for medical equipment as it shows the presence of harmful bacteria. medical benefits of this blood, horseshoe crabs are being harvested at an alarming rate. Harvesting procedures extract up to 30% of each crab's blood. This amount of blood results in an overall mortality rate of 10%, which amounts to 20,000 to 37,500 crabs dying per year. In 1998, 2.9 million kilograms of crabs were harvested. This is having a negative impact on red knots because their population is in direct correlation with the amount of horseshoe crab eggs. In 2001, the number of red knot flocks had decreased by 47%. Based on this study, it is safe to say that both the horseshoe crab and red knot populations are in decline. So everybody, why do red knots care if horseshoe crabs have blue blood? <laughs>